In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you four different size variations that can be posted to Facebook and how to change and modify your video so that you can um, export four different versions of your video for Facebook. You might need to post on Facebook Story. You might need to post on Facebook Feed. You might need a horizontal video, a square video. We're going to cover all that in this tutorial. So the first simple variation that is most commonly seen on Facebook is this horizontal wide video. So let's say you have, you know, I just have a sample of a quick short video here. Um, if it's already edited as a horizontal video, you have your first sequence. Okay. I can come up here to sequence settings in Premiere Pro and make sure that my sequence is 1920 by 1080. My square pixels are set at one and I can press OK. All right. The next thing that we're going to want to do is create the other three variations of sequence sizes that Facebook likes for their platform. So how we do that is we're going to come up and create a new sequence and we're going to title this one 1080 by 1080. This is going to be our square um, video that Facebook likes to post on, um, you know, ads, for example, video ads can be 1080 by 1080 posts can be 1080 by 1080 and they take up more of the screen than your standard horizontal video. Okay. So again, we came up, we created a new sequence and the settings were 1080 by 1080. We create, we made sure the square pixels were set at one and then go ahead and press okay. All right. So what we would do is we'd want to copy our pre-existing video from our horizontal sequence or whatever sequence you have and go ahead and paste it directly into our new sequence. So once you've dropped in your video clips, the first step is to actually resize them. So you can go ahead and click on your video clip, come up to the motion section under effects controls and resize your video clip. I'm going to resize mine to 50. You can also change the position of it if you would like, um, but that works well for me. And then I'm going to also change the other composition here um, to 50. Um, let me see here. Actually, I might need to zoom it up. So depending on the size of your footage, you're just going to want to resize everything so that it it um, works across both video platforms. Now, I have created this fancy zoom in transition. And as you guys can see, um, it is not uh, applying well from one of our first sequences, the 1920 by 1080 sequence, which is where it was customized to work into our 1080 by 1080 sequence. Um, as you guys can see, uh, it, it doesn't apply well so that you have really two options. You could try saving it as a preset um, and replacing it on a new adjustment layer, or you can simply get rid of it and just use the light flare transition that we have um, up top. Okay, so the main key takeaway is when transitioning and when creating new sequences, some transitions are going to work in your project, some won't. Uh, you might need to modify, slightly modify your project and you're gonna need to slightly modify your footage uh, as well. Another option for you, if you would like, is you can um, you know, export this video. If you really love the transition, you can fully export the video, then bring it in and then resize the whole thing and that transition will still work. Um, another option you can try, depending on the transitions, is you can select the entire video, you can nest the entire video, and then you can control copy, control paste in your new sequence. As you can see there, the transition still works, um, you know, but the size, uh, the size is slightly changed. Okay, so those are your options. We now have a perfectly good horizontal video. We have our square video. One example with the transition, another tra uh, version with 
modifying the transition and just adjusting the clips. It's time for our next sequence. So we're going to come up to create a new sequence and we're going to title this one 1080 by 1920. Now this is going to be our vertical video. So we're going to come to the settings of the sequence and we're going to change our frame size to 1080 by 1920. And we're going to go ahead and make sure the square pixels are set at one and press OK. And now you can see we've created a vertical sequence and the same exact thing applies. We can copy our, you know, video and paste it in here. And what we'll have to do is actually change the size of these clips so that they fit into our new sequence. Um, you know, we can change the size of them. You can customize them individually. And as you can see, this light transition needs to be increased as well. And we can go ahead and watch that. You guys can see that now we have a vertical version of our video. Now, if you have text in your video, you'll need to change the size of that as well. The other option is we nested our entire video so we could keep that transition. I'm going to press control copy and I'm going to paste that nested video into this sequence. And you guys can see, you know, what happens there. You could export this video as is with these black bars. Um, or you could, you know, increase the scale of the video and go ahead and watch it back. And you can see how that changed um, the video. Something weird happened there. So I'm going to re-bring in that nested sequence. It could have flipped due to the mirror transitions. It's interesting as I zoom up here. Yeah, it does flip. Look at that. It's very, very strange. Um, let me repaste it, but that might not happen for you. All right. So um, another option is you could nest it again. And then I bet you if we zoom up, it's not going to flip. All right. As you guys can see, look at that. All right. So I went ahead and, you know, just zoomed that up. And you can see that that works for our new sequence. Okay, so these are all different options for taking your horizontal first, you know, video edit or whichever one it is, and then creating these different sequences. So you can create videos for clients um, in all different sizes to post on various different platforms. All right, this video covering Facebook. Last one, we're going to create a new sequence for Facebook and this one we're going to title 1080 by 1350. Now Facebook does allow you to post 1080 by 1350 on your feed um, or for video ads and what this does is it allows uh, a little bit more room on the screen for your post to appear which increases view duration. So we can go ahead and we can take our original video and we can bring it in and we can paste it. This is our nested version. And we're going to need to increase the size of it a little bit. Okay, it flipped on us again. So I'm going to use that nesting trick that I just showed you guys. I'm going to re-nest this guy. And then we're going to increase the size of it. All right, for the sake of this video. And we can watch and see what that looks like. As you guys can see, it is a little more vertical than our standard square and it's going to take up more size on the screen. So again, very valuable to know this stuff. And then, you know, I can take my um, other version where I have to manually um, change the size of each clip. So I can do that here. I can take a look. Let me scale that guy there. Take a look at this one, see where I can scale, scale that there. And then, you know, I can take a look at the light flare transition as well. And those are your options, you know, for what it takes before you export. Now, exporting these is going to be very simple, just like exporting other videos. As long as your sequence settings are set up differently. 1080 by 1350, 1080 by 1920, 1080 by 1080, and 1920 by 1080. All you need to do is select your video once you are complete resizing it by pressing 
X, it will select the whole thing, or dragging, you know, your start point and end point, um, or pressing I and O, I for your input and O for your output. Once your video is selected and you can check, you know, make sure that the first frame and the last frame are selected, we're coming up to file and clicking export. Now your settings should be H.264. You can select the preset at match source high bit rate. Go ahead and click on the output name. You can name your video and select the exact folder that you would like to save it in. And then you're going to want to come down and you can change the bit rate and set the bit rate to, you know, between 10 and 20 would be ideal. And then you're going to go ahead and click export and it will export that video directly to the folder that you saved it in when you clicked and selected the name. And the same exact thing applies for all these other sequences. So you can go ahead and press X or if I went on pressed X on this clip, it would highlight whatever clip with my input, input and output that I press X on. And then my job is to just drag this guy, make sure that you get the end point and the start point. And if you click this little snap uh, magnetic icon in your timeline, you should get these automatic kind of nice crisp snaps to the end point uh, when dragging. So that's a nice little tip. And again, we're going to come and press file export. Since our sequence settings are 1080 by 1920, you will automatically get a nice preview um, of that format. Same thing, H.264 for Facebook uh, match source high bit rate. Again, output name, you can save that there and check the bit rate, customize your video so that it's the right size uh, that your client has requested or that you need to post to Facebook and go ahead and press export. All right. Same thing goes for the 1080 by 1080 and the 1920 by 1080 clips. And that is how you fully edit, resize, create new sequences and export for all the four different sizes that you can post videos on Facebook.